start to the day not that I'm starting early because is, are these even my sunglasses they look so strange it is Wednesday 9 15 a.m. this is a lot earlier start to the day than I normally have normally I don't wake up too late but I'm never like out of my house at 9 a.m. because I work from home so this is new for me on my way downtown for a few things I am going to see Dr. C I'm not having anything done. I'm definitely not doing my lips. <laughs> then I have to go and pick up supplies for CNC. Last night was the first time since I've been home from Japan that I actually um, went to bed like normally. Like I wasn't laying in bed being like I can't sleep. Today is day two of my juice cleanse. And I'm, I didn't go to bed hungry. And I didn't wake up hungry, which is something I normally do. Like I normally go to bed hungry. So the fact that all I had was juice yesterday and didn't wake up hungry is crazy to me. The juice cleanse I did, I'm doing is Juice by Julie. Juices are actually, they're not the best, but they're not like gross. Woke up late, go figure. I set like 500 alarms and I still ended up waking up late. I don't know how, I just still ended up waking up late. You know what blows my mind even more? When I was in high school, I would have school from 8 a.m. to 3.22 p.m. Don't ask me why. They were so specific. 3.22 p.m. And then it changed to 3.18. So I don't know why it was so specific. But I would have school five days a week all day long and I just did it. It was just a normal part of my life. I'm so happy that you guys were loving my Kim Kardashian video. I really wanted to do like dressing like Kim Kardashian for a day, but I didn't know how to make it like different. And so I just made it like an episode of keeping up with the Kardashians. I wish I could like bring this down a little bit. This is like so high. Oh my God, there's traffic. So I think I should focus on driving, but I will check in with you after. Hopefully when I'm not half asleep and I have a coffee in me. Cause I didn't have that. Did I mention it yet? I don't have coffee in me. So if I seem, oh, there's police. I actually thought of something that I could talk about while I'm sitting in traffic because I have nothing else to do and that is my cool sculpting so a lot of you guys were asking me about to do a cool sculpting update so I thought that I would just do it now because I have the time I'm gonna stop looking at the camera so I don't crash and die so I got cool sculpting done I'm actually passing the place that I did it I got it done at Dermafina um, I think at the beginning of June but you can go back and watch my cool sculpting vlog to know exactly when. The cool sculpting was great. I did not have any like side effects after, except I had, did have like bloating and like that's it. That's all I can remember for like a like a day or two after. You know, cool sculpting is not immediate results. It's not something that you do. It's not liposuction. It doesn't just suck the fat out, right? My cool sculpting that I got done was on my lower stomach, lower abdomen because I was an overweight, like I was a heavier child was never flat my stomach is never going to be flat like other people are i mean maybe i don't know i should try i haven't tried that hard recently i don't know but when i was really skinny i had my lower abdomen like my lower stomach was always like there was always like a little bulge i want to say ew why did i say that i hate that word like it was always just there like that's where i held my weight my lower abdomen always a few weeks ago i was just like looking at myself in leggings and i was like oh my god like it's just flat i have definitely seen an improvement because i have not done really anything to change in my diet or exercise routine so i know that it's nothing it's only the cool sculpting i know there's gonna be people like oh, you're just so lazy like why don't you just work out even if I worked out, that area is so stubborn, it just wouldn't go away. Now I just do need to work on, you know, my actual diet, exercise, and everything because that that fell a little bit off off the trail. This is 
is so freaking nice. I can't even get over it. Try right on um, the shoes you saw. First of all, who in the right mind would wear those Balenciaga shoes? They literally are the ugliest things in the world. Who's spending $1,300 on those? So my vlogs, if you haven't noticed, they're not the most eventful, but I talk to you like you're my BFF. So I was ordering my drink, which is a non-fat uh, non fat, which is a skinny vanilla latte. It's my new favorite thing. It's not too overbearing. It's not too sweet at all. It just gives me the right amount of coffee. So that's what I'm having. It's a little, little bit pricey, but it's worth it. Okay. Is it really? Not really. A lot of you guys were asking about what tripod I have. I'm happy I remembered to say this. I have, everyone's turning down here. So should I turn down here? Let's go. Let's just go. I don't know where I'm going, but everyone was turning, so I turned too. Did I do something good or did I do something bad? I feel like I did something good. Anyways, the tripod that I have, I'll link it down below. I'm gonna go to Home Depot because they have this thing that you put on the back of your door and it holds all your shoes. And I'm hoping that that will clear up some space and then maybe they'll also have a little, um, oh, we should go to Ikea. Mm, too late. Thinking of getting like a shoe organized, I'm just gonna show you. Why am I talking about it? You don't care about looking at me talk. Oh my god, I look like a literal Frankenstein. Um, here's the deal. I went to Home Depot. They had like a bunch of closet things. I'll show you that when I get home, but I think I'm quickly gonna go to IKEA. I told you. I told you I would regret it because I want to just get it done. I'm not in this area often, so I might as well just take advantage of it and go to Ikea. I think my game plan is to just walk around the store and see what I- So I'm hunting for like something to put in my closet to organize it. All these little rooms are so freaking adorable though. Look at this little Christmas room. This little Christmas. Oh, it's so nice. I think I'm gonna get you guys what I got. My makeup's a mess just because I was carrying all this stuff in. And let me tell you, if I can go to Ikea alone, you can go to Ikea alone. Don't feel intimidated, but I'm going to show you guys what I got. So, the first thing I got is actually, I went to Home Depot first, and I got this thing. It's like a shoe rack that goes on the back of your door. I'm trying to optimize space here. So, um, right now, this would be very beneficial for me. At Home Depot, I got a few other things. I might return some of the things, depending if I use them or not. This is just one of those things that goes, hangs down. I have one of them right now, but it's like half as big and it's breaking, so I wanted another one. And then I got these two things that, um, slide under your bed, which I thought would be really helpful for clothes that I'm maybe not wearing at the moment, but don't want to get rid of. Just in case I got it, maybe my mom will use it or we'll use it in the coat room downstairs. So basically it has four little compartments and then it also has a rack at the bottom. So I thought that was a really good way to make use of space. Then I went to Ikea. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I got two of these um, things. I'll put a picture right here because I can't show you them. I showed you them in Ikea, I think. Um, and then I also got these inserts, which are um, just like covered doors. So they, it's not all of them aren't just open. So I got two of these. And then I got two of these, which are like, each pack comes with two drawers. So in each square you can make two drawers if that makes sense so i can put like tank tops or like socks or bras or bathing suits or accessories sunglasses anything i want and then i got these which i thought were super cool they're just these really cute white containers but they stack one on top of each other so i was thinking that like i could put them on my desk and put makeup in them or in my bathroom so it's all nice and clean so i'm trying to make it look all nice and clean i got this this brand from ikea is kind of expensive because it's like acrylic i think or plastic it's just like really sturdy and good 
So I got this from my makeup drawer. I got these with lids to go into my desk thing because right now it's a complete mess. So I wanted to organize it. I got four of those. This is my closet right now. My plan is to put, these are my robes, but I'm planning to put the shoe thing on the door. So I'm going to do that first because I need to get this away. My shoes are all right here right now, um, but I'm going to put the white thing from here to there. And I have extra space. I'm going to keep this rack here and then this is the one I was talking about. So we need to get this cleared up because there's stuff literally just everywhere. Okay, so so far I'm just, I just attached these poles to create like a base and then I'm attaching these like other pulls onto it you guys probably don't care but if you do get this this is step one and it's gonna end up looking like that so this is an update on my shoe situation the thing is pretty good except uh so badly designed it keeps falling off so i had to super glue it so hopefully it stays but other than that i really like how it looks and i'm happy with how it's keeping my shoes i didn't realize i had so many pairs of shoes so this is the state of my room so far this has held up with the super glue really well and i've done this so far which is already making me so happy i can tell that two is going to be too long but it's going to just go a little bit behind there i did these drawer inserts which is really cool it's actually like this whole piece that just inserts and then you make these little drawers like so how do drawers work Yay! You can see that this one has like drawers now. It's a little crooked. I mean, we're not gonna nitpick here. It looks pretty good to me, so I have to build the other drawer. These are gonna be drawers. That one's gonna be open. Or actually, I should probably make these four of them drawers, like this one and this one, or the four drawers here. Should we do it drawer, drawer, cupboard, cupboard, open, 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 open? It looks so good, I'm so happy. Okay, so here's the first one done. We have two open spaces, and then we have this and this drawer. So these drawers, and then this open one. I just wanted to add these because I thought it made it look more professional, I guess, even though my installation's kind of weird. I'm excited to see the finished product. I'm probably gonna have to push it back so I can fit that one in there. But so far it looks really good. Okay, so both are done. I think I'm just gonna keep it with one thing here. I don't think I'm gonna do two just cause I think it's gonna take up too much space. Like I can fit more of the stuff or the kind of stuff that I wanna fit without it. You see what I mean? Like there's these weird sections in this closet. I don't, I don't get it. So I'm probably gonna store like lighting equipment behind here and stuff. And then there's also all that room there, which I kind of, just stuff things that I don't really wear. This is the progress we've made so far. I don't think, as of right now, I'm gonna install the other two drawers or the other um, closet, closet cupboard, because I just feel like I wanna fit like sweaters and jeans and I don't need that. So now I can get rid of all of that and make it all organized. Okay, so it is now, what time is it? 9.21 and I'm finally basically done. There's still some things that I need to do. Look like a disaster, don't even mind me. But I'm gonna show you what I've done and the after to all of this. So this is the after. You guys saw the before, so this is the after. So this is the shoe thing. All my shoes fit on it. I don't really have much room to grow. Um, unless I get rid of other ones. There's just more shoes like under my bed and the things that I showed you, but I really like this. We did have some technical difficulties, but overall I do think it's good. I can also like stack shoes up, but yeah, so far really good. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. I find it looks so professional. So here I have just my jeans, my shorts. These are gonna be my leggings. There's not really much in there, but I do have my leggings here. And then in the bottom um, closet type of thing, I just have some fancier tops. Like, not fancier tops, just like things like skirts and stuff I didn't really have a spot for. Then these two are my sweatshirts that used to be all on the top. And then these two are my sweatpants. This part hasn't changed too much. Like, the actual clothing hasn't changed too much. It's actually stayed exactly the same. Up here, I just have my black sweaters. These are my bathing suits. I'm not sure if this is going to stay here or not. And then these are just shoes that I have to do a video on. And then this side is not 
the nicest but I have my clothing rack this clothing rack is for pieces that I want to shoot or I have to show in a haul video um, so yeah that's what this clothing rack is for so I can remember I have it and it doesn't get all lost these are my jackets I did not touch this today this is still Paul's thing Paul's shoes are downstairs in the coat closet um, if you're wondering, I guess you're not. And then these are my bags. My more expensive bags are up there. And then I have my other bags, my other bags and my hats, my scarves, and then those bottom ones are for Paul. I have a cover now. This is also a shoe rack. I just have extra stuff down here, like, um, shoes I have to show in a haul. And then up here, this is all for Paul, but he hasn't cleaned it, so I'll probably have to clean that. Uh, for all his sweaters and stuff. I might go get containers for him, but I don't think he'll end up using them. He'll just end up throwing it up there. So that is my little closet transformation that I personally really love. I just threw a little rug in there and I feel so much more organized. I will link everything down below. This is my favorite part. It's so nice. Anyways, you guys, that's it for my vlog today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, turn on the bell notification, all that stuff, and I will see you back here next time.